welcome back to the Citizen Channel. I hope you're all staying safe and well. And yes, uh, just in time for Wembley, I've caught another cough and a cold. So uh, that'll be fun on a coach, 10 hours there and back. Let's just, just don't we will make it worthwhile. But uh, please uh, uh, put up with me, guys. I'm sorry because my voice is going as well. That's all I need, isn't it? Well, I'm trying to shout for the boys. But this is the Player 80 show, Bayern Munich. One, Manchester City won. Yes, job done. I think that's all we can say, really. Uh, you know, we're 3 nil up and we did what we had to do. It's as simple as that. Not always pretty at times, but that's how that's how you win things. That's how you get things done. Of course, we're talking about the Champions League quarterfinal second leg on the 19th of April 2023. This is the Player Rating Show. Please check out my Talking Points show as well. And this is includes, of course, Simon Bukowski's ratings, and I give my little views on it, whether he's right or wrong. Uh, pretty much, yeah, I think we agree on most things uh, tonight. The odd, the odd thing I didn't quite agree with, but uh, we'll talk about that. Please, if you are new to the channel, almost, almost as I'm recording this, uh, at 3,000 subscribers, so if you can push me over that, that'd be fantastic. Spread the word, everything city, of course, past, present, and forever. Uh, you're pushing buttons, and you give us that, press that little like button after that wonderful draw and aggregate victory last night, uh, be much appreciated. Right, let's get on with it. Without further ado, we can talk more about the game and the talking points show. This is just looking at the individual players. I've not looked at anything back. I just watched it on the night, of course. I uh, hope everyone who travelled there has got safely back or safely on the way back, ready for a, a trip down south. Busy lads. Right, Edison. Simon said, made some important saves against Keep Bayern at bay and slowed the game down, even if he was booked. Yeah. I just wish I just wish he could waste time better. He's not he's not he's not great at wasting time. He's, he's because he's so laid back. I think I think he struggles and he he doesn't get away with it easy. As some uh, as some other keepers who are a bit more active at wasting time. Uh, Edison is just laid back and laid back at wasting time. It doesn't always work very well. And once the fans start whistling, the referee takes notice. Our keepers are always going to suffer that. No one else has seemed to, but ours do. But this is it is what it is. A good game from Edison. Uh, Sam's given an eight. I'm going to give him a seven point five. I thought generally last night, most of the, no one was outstanding. Well, there was, there was one player probably, but uh, most of the team just just helped do a job, and that's what was important last night. A Kanji Simon said lost some individual battles, but never hidden battle through the Bayern attacking storm. Unlucky to concede a penalty. Yes. Well, those penalties we'll talk about me talking points just ridiculous, aren't they? But that's how it is. That's you know, say it's a matter of getting into the box and just blasting the ball at the defender's arm, and you get a penalty. It's ridiculous, but yeah, even even the Munich striker didn't expect to get was it Sane? I can't remember who it was now, guys, Mane or whatever it was. Uh, Mane wasn't it? Uh, didn't expect to get it either, but there you go. Uh, yeah, but I thought I thought he played very well. I didn't do much. I didn't, didn't see. Uh, I think the individual battles he lost no no worse than anybody else. Simon's give him a seven. I'm going to give him a seven and a half. I thought he didn't let us down again last night. Stones Simon said playing at centre back. There was some forays for, but most of his work was chasing down buying forwards. Yeah, a bit of a. Yeah, it's a bit. The thing with Stones is now he's. And I think Pep's asking him to play this many different roles. It can get. I think it can get a little bit confusing, even for the cleverest of footballers. I'm not saying Stones isn't clever, but you know Pep is asking a lot of him at the moment. But as he wasn't as constructed going forward, and at times, uh, yeah, well, like the rest of the defense, perhaps got away with it once or twice, and he did under with, under, under extreme pressure. But uh, of course, the defense needed uh, deserved to keep a clean sheet. We didn't in the end, but uh, no, I thought Stones did his job uh, very competently. So seven from Simon, and I'll give him a seven as well. He has some magnificent blocks, there were, to keep City's advantage as strong as it was in the tight and also cleared off his line. And I missed that because they obviously are watching on telly. The old uh, producer, whoever it is, decides to pan to the crowd. So we don't. I have no idea what happened there, apart from the fact that it was cleared off the line and we did something stupid. I don't know who was at fault or whatever, but uh, let me know, guys, if you were there and you remember what happened. Yeah, so Simon's given a nine. I'm not going to disagree with that. I think Diaz, as I say, in a steady job from the City players last night, a hard-working job without anything spectacular. I thought he was the, the guy to put his body on the line again last night, more perhaps more than anybody else. So Simon's given a nine, so why not? I'm going to match it. I'm going to match Simon's nine as well. Aki Simon says, struggled to cope with Coleman's pace and then went down with what could be a worrying hamstring injury. Yeah, well, fingers crossed it's not that bad. He said he said himself he's had similar things before, so a little bit of rest 
and he should be all right. But he did have a torrid time last night. He struggled. He did one of his, uh, I'm not saying his worst games, he was up against it. But, uh, yeah, he, he, could, he was struggling last night, not with just the hamstring injury, but with that, that Coleman. I, was, I mean, when he moved, when he switched sides about halfway through the first half, I bet like, Aki breathed a sigh of relief. But, yeah, Simon's given him a, seven, a six. I, I'm only going to give him a six as well. I, I thought, uh, yeah, Aki again, another great player this season. But he did did struggle last night for pace uh, on that side, uh, and it stood out like a mile really. Uh, Rodri, everywhere that he needed to be all of the time, said, said Simon, popping up to turn the ball over and build a touch. Yeah, there was some uh, giving away though in key areas. Um, so I do agree with what uh, Simon's saying, but I'm not as enthused as him about Rodri last night. It's an occasional time, you know, in, in other games, uh, those couple of errors that, that he give away could end up with uh, us losing a goal or something like that. But uh, he always seems to be doing something to make up for it. But uh, they end to say the damage could have already been done. So Simon's given us an eight. I think he's been a bit generous there. I'd give, I'd give Rodri a seven last night. I thought he was OK, but I'm not as enthused as Simon was. Gundo earned the City penalty, said Simon, with positive intent and connected well with Roger. Yeah, I thought Gundo played very well. Uh, el- deliberate, uh, nothing elaborate, nothing clever. Uh, never stopped, though, and that's that, that's perhaps what you want sometimes from, from your sort of less your sort of creator to hold there uh, alongside Rodri and KDB and players like that. Yeah, I was reasonably happy with Gundo last night. Seven from Simon, a seven from me. KDB, a majestic weight on the pass, said Simon for Harlan Ball, and he was always in control. Yeah, a bit less involved, and I think he played things a little bit safer tonight, as it should be. We're not chasing this game. We're 3-0 up from the first leg, so perhaps a bit bit of experience there, a bit of nous to sort of play a less less elaborate game. Uh, Don't risk losing the ball as many times with with these passes. I think there's at least a couple of passes perhaps we should have done better with. And it was a great pass, and obviously Harlan had loads to do. We got a little bit of luck with the other guy called Meccano, man in defence. Had a bit of luck with him falling over a, a couple of times, but yeah, uh, a great assist. So Simon's given him an eight. I'm going to give him a seven point five. I'm not, I'm not going to go any go any higher than that. Bernardo Simon said kept Cancelo largely quiet on left hand side. Yeah, I thought Cancelo played okay, and never stopped running. And yeah, this is another Bernardo loss. Certainly at the start of the game, he seems to be giving the ball away more. But you know, he was surrounded by two or three by Munich players. He wasn't getting an outlet, and he did lose it a handful of times. But uh, he was, you know, as you expect from Bernardo, he'll just pick his head up and carry on regardless. And always, there was always a handful for Munich, and always cause him bother. So Simon's given a seven. I've no, no reason to give him any difference and I'll give him a seven as well. Grealish the ball just sticks to his feet at the minute when City needed an out, said Simon. He was there. Yeah, he was. He's one of those one of those games where nothing spectacularly, just held on to the ball, won fouls when he needed to win fouls. It was an outlet for City players. Very probably did give it away, but very rarely gave it away. And uh, yeah, it's just to say nothing spectacular on the attacking front, but uh, he was and defensively he was back as well. Or perhaps not as effective as he has been in the last few few games defensively, but yeah, Sam's given him an eight. I'm going to give him a seven point five again. He just he just for the a battle for the cause, and he played for the cause. Harland, uh, Sam said, Mister Glorious chance. He certainly we don't, we don't need that, do we? We don't need Mister. As I say, it's, we're three nil up. That would have made it four nil. Uh, 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 Ninety nine point nine percent buried the game, of course. <laughs> Had a lot, a lot of time to wait, but you've got to, you got to be hitting the target. It's, it was an unusual penalty, as I said. I don't know what the stats are in that, but uh, he has hit him in the middle of the net before, but not with such pace. It actually goes over the bar. Someone said it glanced the bar. I wasn't too sure. I've not watched it back. So yeah, a bit, a bit disappointing. Uh, but he killed the game anyway, said Simon. So that's correct. But Simon's only given him a six. I'm going to give him a seven. I think to give him a six is a bit harsh. As I say, he cocked up there, but under extreme circumstances. And he does miss penalties. We know he misses penalties. He misses him playing for Dortmund and the team before he played for Dortmund. So he will miss penalties. That's six out of seven, I think, now. So if he carries on with that sort of ratio, obviously we don't want him to miss penalties in big games. But nil-nil, Champions League uh, final, last few minutes... <laughs> We need that ball to go in the net, don't we? But, uh, yeah, I think Simon's been a bit mean with six. I've gone seven. The subs, yeah, only really Laporte to talk about. He came on for Aki in 65 minutes. And Simon said, kept City slowing the game down. And, yeah, again, Simon's only given him a six. I'm going to give him a 6.5. I thought he did what he was asked to do. We might have to rely on him a little bit more now, depending on how, how Aki is. 
Uh, no, but I think Laporte, you know, you can only do what you're asked to do, and I thought Laporte did it, and uh, we should never, ever, you know, we should always respect Laporte. I mean, nothing wrong with Laporte. I think Laporte's a wonderful player. You know, I'd be sad to see him go. And he didn't do anything. Uh, say he just come on for the cause and, and helped for that last half hour. Uh, Simon's giving him a six. I'm giving him a six point five. Alvarez, uh, he, he didn't have much time to do anything. He what and what he did, it wasn't anything spectacular. I think he had a couple of half chances to get through or break and uh, didn't quite do it. But he came on for Harland on eighty four minutes. But uh, Simon said no time to mark. So who am I to disagree with that one? Man of the match, I think it's got to be got to be. You know, you sort of look, I was looking back at his scores, think, who can I give man of the match to? And then there's just one guy stood out, wasn't there? Diaz is, is definitely my man of the match uh, for yesterday. Superb. I think KDB may have got it from uh, UEFA or whatever on the, on the night. But for me, Diaz, the way he led the line. Say, we, we, we came under the cosh, we got through it uh, by skill, luck and hard work. And it was a mixture of all three. It was just a, a, a sort of, game where we've, we've got to win and it's not always pretty or draw as it's turned out win an aggregate and it's not always pretty is it so Diaz was my man of the match let me know what you think guys let me know your player ratings let me know what you think about Diaz and of course please tune into my talking point show we're putting this out in the morning the talking point show will be late morning or early afternoon and also coming up on Friday of course will be the preview of the Sheffield United FA Cup semi-final we're yet to beat them in the FA Cup there's a, there's a stat for you played them six times and uh, we've not won one yet but uh, we'll talk about that and of course in the preview and please check out my talking point show we'll have a bit more fat stats and opinion on this game today thanks for watching guys until me again that's one thing don't I please stay safe blues come on city bye for now